Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before we jump into the topics, my beg you not to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Dancehall Queen Spy speaks on Vibes Cartel and how she met him. And also that Vibes Cartel used to date one of her friends. Ramesh reacts to the earthquake that was felt in Jamaica, Haiti and among other places. Jada Kingdom Coffee and Protege Jain Shensia and Madden's 22 soundtrack. Dovey Magnum This is Teflon Dan according to fans. And Bounty Killer links up with dancehall artist Bugle to complete final tracks for his upcoming album. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Dovey Magnum Zine people. And it's been a while since we even talk about her. Now Dovey Magnum is being bashed and you know a lot of persons that say she's a hater. That's why she can't reach far in the music business. And let me explain to you exactly what happens Zine people. Now Futa I post up a picture of Steph Landon which basically Futa Hype do that like once a month or once every other month or something like that you understand because Futa Hype has a big crush on Steph Landon now basically Futa Hype post up that picture that you're seeing on the screen seeing? and obviously you know Steph Landon hot girl and thing and thing now the caption for that Futa Hype said somebody please wake me up Zane. So obviously you know say Futa Hype said Jano star me in a dream to how this girl look good, you understand? So him basically a fantasize over Stefan Dan. Now Dovey Magnum actually jump in at the comment section and say wake you up for what though? With the question sign exactly, you understand people? Now some persons feel like say Dovey Magnum saying that she take shots at Stefan Dan. So one person actually left a comment saying Dovey Magnum, every time I see a comment you're always hating, shake my head. Now the person continue by saying, Dovey Magnum, stop hating dog, bad mind I go kill you, you are dancehall biggest hater slash groupie, that's why you stuck and now uh, move, lol, fix your bad mind please, you understand what I say? So obviously people are call her out, they must say, Dovey Magnum, why you hate pan Steph Landon, why you hate pan the girl, you understand, you is a bad mind person. Now obviously there were some comments kind of agreeing with Dovey Magnum saying that, you know, that more I know too, but obviously them person they seem like they might take shots at Steph Landon. Like they must say, yo, she not really all that you know. You see what I say, people? So we even see where it seem like Futa Hyper ignored Dovey Magnum comments because him never, you know, maybe him never read what she said. Cause we see where people are comment and him actually respond to them, but him ignore she, you see me? Somebody say Futa Hyper, who that your bro G with some laughing emoji and Futa Hyper said, no, that's my boo, and him tag Steph Landon. You see what I say? So we see say Futa Hyper ignored Dovey Magnum comment. I guess him never really read what she said. You see what I said. But let me know what you guys think about this. You know, feel like say Dovey Magnum is hating on Steph Landon. Or you know, feel like say she does ask Futa Hyper a simple question. Wake him up for what you see me. Because, you know, she not really all that according to Dovey Magnum or allegedly according to Dovey Magnum. <laughs> All right, people. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Spice speaking and Vibes Cartel. Is what man say? Now, Spice, of course, they know so she's out there doing interviews, promoting her album and them things. They understand? Now, she actually have a music video coming out today. Maybe by the time someone want to see this video, the video actually come out. Is it me? The song name, Send It Up, or the video name, Send It Up. And I think that video is going to be a hit because the song, it seems to get a lot of traction. Some people are saying their favorite song after the album. So you can look out for that video today. You know, can go check it out on our, um, on our official YouTube page, you understand? So anyway, she was on Lava Sound last night talking about her album and whole heap of things. So she actually started speak on Vibes Cartel and, you know, she actually made it clear that Vibes Cartel used to talk to one of her friend them and this and that. Now, of course, you know, say Vibes Cartel, you know, him wife, Shorty, her common law wife, get a lot of respect from Spice. So Lava did basically make some joke and say, yo, Spice, may you get Vibes Cartel in a trouble and thing? Spice, I make it clear, say Shorty, don't know what going on and things so it was a nice little interview yes my people may i go play a piece site and then we can move on to the rest of the topics them yes man say so listen this the people oh you meet um shaman all these things but cartel no oh you meet cartel oh me cartel yeah i don't remember how me meet him you know but you know where port more come from and me come from port more right i think about like that managing them time there Right. But, but, but like big up yourself. But like big up. Cartel. Did I talk to one of my friends? Can you know cartel like the look of Marga girl? Then bring up Shati. My aunt can say big up Shati because you know we have to big up the loyal woman. Them. So bring Shati, up Shati. Big up. Shati boss. Big up. But I think if Cartel did I talk to one of my friends or something, you know. If me not, if me not member good. Me not member oh, the story. Spice, but you must come tell me. Spice, 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 spice. spice. Might put the man in a trouble right now, you know. He know. He know. Shati know. Pussy clad. Me I tell about a long time something, I don't 
you may say to you, so, but you may say, my mentor at the part there, and I just, I just turn up my screen, I mean, I never, I never, I never, I never, I never, I never, you can't say it no spice, say it. You don't know if I'm going to talk to her, can't the party again? <laughs> yeah, you never there. Look here, you know, say, if I don't lie, I'm not sure if I lie, I don't want to tell a lie, but I'm supposed to before that, because I think it's before Shati, yeah. Because when my shorty start talk, me didn't know about him, know of him and everything. So I saw it go. I said, I'm true. So I can't circle back then. I can't circle. Because I remember saying, I know my shorty attack for years, donkey years, you know. A true. Mm-hmm. A true. Mm -hmm. Years, donkey. Continue then. From long, 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 long time. Right. Because so, I remember knowing um, before him boss. Right. Remember me knowing before him name Vibes Cartel. Remember me knowing before him name King and I just know. Right. So, um, the first song with your name? Ramping Shop. Right, so who come up with the idea then? Him. The combination there. I can't tell come up with the idea. I can't tell write the song. I can't tell do everything. I him idea, creative structure, everything. That's why most of the time when you know when him cast him cast a rated and no people I say every minute she say Gaza Gaza Gaza. They don't really understand the level. I saw people. They know when me did there and when call me from and when take me out or to when put me to all me appreciate it. So me don't really listen to the noise and the what. I saw I people still. Me don't really listen to the excitement. So, remember me there my yard, I think my son, I remember Papi was how much? Because I was right. 2009, and my son born 2007. That means my son was two years old. So, that means me there my yard, I struggle with my youth, not, not really a go on neither. And right. I remember saying, I do some look one and two show, but I do at at buzzy buzzy. Right. Yeah, and me and him go to uh, Guyana. Right. Go do a show in the stadium and we tear down the show and hold it for something go on. And like him, I said, Mama, you know, so if you do a song, I say, look here, make the link. Right. So when he reach back to Jamaica now, I'm there in my yard and exchange number, I just get a call and the man say, come to the studio. Right. So when I reach a studio at them time, the new song did act buzzy buzzy. Right. Buzzy. I don't right. know if he did. Don't know if he did Realize the ramping track that was so big and have such an impact. Maybe he put it on an original beat, but it's still, me don't, me don't rang him for put it on a beat there. Right. So come, mama, we could sing for the song. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something I never tell nobody yet. Yeah, talk to me. When Cartel sing ramping shop, oh, man, I'm a ramping shop. In my head, hear me. Cartel lyrical and spit fast, man. I want mm. me some whining, something, some daggering, something, some fast, something. What the man give me that slow song? Yeah. Eh. That must say. But me never tell him because you know what the boss me I go and work with it. Yeah. And that was this a ramping shop come from, right? This so. Yeah man, so big up to the Queen Spice. And of course, people, if you know, don't go get the album ten yet, you can go out there, go get it. You know, say it depends on all platforms and things. Cause we want the artists them for the good, you understand? Well if people are pray for spice don't fall, them no want our album for sell. But if you the fans go out there and support her, then they might go lose, you see me? So let me know what you guys think about the interview in the comment section. You know what she said about vibes cartel and thing, is it? So the next thing we're gonna talk about this earthquake that happened in Jamaica this morning, you see me? me don't know how much I want to feel it but I definitely felt it you understand shake up the place and also I saw where the Jamaica observer said the United States Geological Survey is reporting a strong 7.2 magnitude earthquake at 729 along the Enriquillo planting garden fault which runs through Haiti and Jamaica there are reports that it was felt in many sections of the island is all massa people them said the affected countries based on the geological reports include Bahamas Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Turks and Caicos Island, United States, minor outlying islands, and Cuba. You see me? But I also seen where some footage is shown where it seemed like it mush up certain places over Haiti. You see me? Check out that little footage here, people. Mes amis, en direct, en direct. Pendant ma fesse pour comme ça, heureusement pour moi, côté moi, il n'y a pas tombé. Mais go gros tremblement de terre qui pourrait passer au cas là. Pour que tu te calmes pour Samoua, c'est l'équivalent de 12 janvier. Merci, mon Dieu, que ça va tomber. Ouh! Moi-même, ça me fait, je cours, je mal le cabelle de qui est écrasé, parce que je ne vais pas écraser et je vais toujours. Mais, bah, yo, du, bah, yo, du, donc, moi-même, moi, bien, même bon, on a rien encore. Yeah, man, and basically, on can see, you know, the images, them, in the background and thing. It seems like, you know, they might be worrying that people might actually die and stuff. You see me? I hope it's so, nothing like that. And those are some images that you are seeing from over Haiti. 
And basically, this has come from over the Jamaica Star, and them say images and footage from Haiti are showing extensive earthquake damages to infrastructure after a magnitude 7.2 earthquake struck this morning. There are also fears that people have died since the massive tremor this morning. There has been an aftershock measuring 5.2 and thing is, you know, people. So we just hope so nobody no lose them life. So as I say, a lot of persons out here react to it. We see where Ramish Entertainment put up a post that says, Thank God Ding Dang Ravers teach you how to surf. Because that earthquake at Jamaica just now no normal. You see my people. So you don't know so Ramish just kind of make light of the situation even though it is a serious one. You see car as you can see the footage over here to can show say. Why people can't actually lose them life or you know, them are gonna check for see if everybody alright and thing and thing. So, you know, we don't really know exactly if anything, any place get damaged in a Jamaica. So far, I'm not seeing no negative news that come out or no bad news that come out say anything happen. So we definitely have to thank God for that. You see my people? So let me know if you actually felt the earthquake that are if it in a Jamaica, obviously, or if you're in a one of the countries them where the earthquake passed through, leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Jada Kingdom, Protege, and Coffee joining Shensia and Madden's NFL 22 playlist, you understand? And yesterday me even talked about the story where Shensia, you know, she did actually happy to be featured on Madden's 22 playlist. You see what i people? So now some more news come out. Well, actually, the full playlist playlist come out and it showed that Jada Kingdom Coffee and Protege is featured on the soundtrack. Now the song with Jada Kingdom named Get Paid Zen People is not a new song. It depends on Vivo. Well it depends on our YouTube channel and the song come out over a year ago. Jada Kingdom featuring some other people. You see me? And also the song with Coffee and Protege named Switch It Up. Now you know them have the official music video for that but it basically depends on the Madden 22 soundtrack as well. You understand? So this is like basically a compilation mode I say. You see me? It have a lot of top artists on it. It have um, Rod Wave, Little Baby, Rock to Riches, you know, so that was a big hit in the United States. And it have a whole lot of people on it. So it's definitely a good compilation. So I'm glad this is a Jada Kingdom is featured on this playlist as well. You see me, or this soundtrack, should I say, Coffee, big up yourself, Protege, big up yourself as well, you understand? Because from our artists, I get the recognition where them deserve. Then we can't do nothing but actually be proud of them, you see me? More money for them. And of course, you know, so that I going to make them put in even more work, you see me? Because them actually see people like the music where them are put out. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. I know I want to talk about Bounty Killer linking up with Bugle, you understand? And Bugle is a very talented artist. And Bugle even said something the other day, you know, people, because he is so underrated. Bugle make a talk, say he would rather to be underrated than be overrated, you see me? Of course, you know, say enough artists, you know, them basically overrated. Now I'm going to call no name right about now, but... I'm sure you can think of one or two of them, you understand? So anyway, Bugle and Bounty Killer link up for actually finish certain tracks for his album, you see me, which is King of Kingston. You know, so that album will be coming out in December, you see me, I say people. So we see Bounty Killer post up that and it says, Bugle and Bounty Killer record final tracks for albums. And you don't know, say so Bounty Killer post a caption saying, more music forwarding. You see my people, so Bounty Killer linking up with Bugle is definitely a good look. And Bounty Killer make the fans them know some more music forward in your seat. So we can expect a Bounty Killer album, King of Kingston, will definitely be worth the wait because at December them time data forward out. You see me? Maybe near Christmas and thing. You see it? Of course, we know a lot of things about the album. You don't know, so we know say it going to have some international collabs on it. But Bounty Killer still now go straight away from his dancehall roots. You understand him now? Go just make it be all about international thing. You see me? Double album. So you don't know, say, or double CD, me should I say. So of course, you know, say this will definitely be a hit because Bounty I take him time him not rush it like how everybody I put out album him not say you know what me have to hurry up and put this out now because everybody I put out album and I hope it actually do well you see me I want it to sell one 20 30 thousand copy first week you don't know say some people feel like say Bounty not go sell that but you know him actually I take him time but sometimes I'm not even sales make album good enough people because guess what look for now Javilani album here all the people are say good and them rate it and it's a solid body of work and it never sell so sometimes it does have to deal with promo it have to deal with a hype around certain album you see it so not because the album sell a lot of copies that no means it are the greatest thing you see it but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section thanks for watching the video don't forget to like share subscribe and turn on the notification bell bless upon yourself and keep safe i'm out